While CorelDRAW makes it easy to create your own designs, sometimes it's just easier to use artwork that's already created. In this tutorial, we'll cover where to find clip art as well as photos, and how to import and manipulate clip art in a document. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have my Connect Content Inspector open, which is where I can look for items on my computer or network. These four items that appear are from CorelDRAW's Starter Pack, two photos, which are raster images, and two vector images. I can use the slider to change the thumbnail size, and I can use drag and drop to import any clip art image into my document. Once imported, I can resize, rotate, move, ungroup or convert to curves, etc. I'll discuss more about using and manipulating clip art farther on. The context menu for a clip art image has an option to import into the center of the document at its actual size, or I can choose place if I want to set the size and location. Choosing properties displays tags and categories, and the edit option for a vector image opens its source file, in which I can make changes. I can hover over an image to see its file name and where it's stored. Raster images are generally JPEGs, and vector images are CDR, CMX, or could be other formats. I can click this icon to open the folder that contains this collection. The starter pack, and any additional installed content, is stored in Documents, Corel, Corel Content, Images. If I want to specify another folder in which to search for images, such as my Flowers folder, I can click this drop-down and choose Add New, then use Create Alias to find that folder. To expand my clip art content beyond the starter pack, I can click the Get More icon. There are many free packs I can install, such as Modern Life, and many for purchase as well. After installing, I have many more categories to choose from. As I mentioned, bringing clip art into my document from the browser is straightforward. Just drag and drop, or use the import options. Raster images are imported as any other photo, and can be moved, resized, rotated, etc. Bringing in vector images is done the same way, and because these are vector files, I can manipulate these objects. Some are relatively simple, like this black line work, and others are more complex, with multiple filled curves. The Objects Inspector is the place to check what comprises a clip art image. For the black cat in this example, I can see that it has a non-transparent white background. So I'll open its contents, find the solid rectangle, and press Delete to remove it. I can also select all of the black curves and change them to a different color. Finally, I can use clip art or photos as fill. I have this closed curve selected, and when I drag a photo onto the selected curve, the curve clips the photo and the photo tiles. I can use the Properties Inspector to adjust fill properties, such as size or location. If I drag a vector image into a selected curve, it will tile the same way. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on clip art in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.